Hello ladies and gentlemen, Seiko Starcraft bringing you a best of three between QXE and Lucifron, now of Mouse Sports. QXE used to be with Complexity Gaming, but it's not in his tag, so I'll have to double check and see if he's actually still with them or not. He's been on the scene a long time, but I don't... It's been a long time since he's really had some amazing success from what I've seen. Haven't seen him in any major tournaments in a while. If he's not sponsored, that might make sense why that is. It was only a few weeks ago, I believe, that Caronta Esports meshed with Lucifron, so Lucifron and Vortex joined that and they made one of the biggest European esports teams or something like that, at least for StarCraft. And they're still playing at a super top level. Very exciting to watch both of them play. I'd give Lucifron a little bit of an edge in the overall success department, though. Terran versus Terran. One of my favorite matchups. At least my favorite mirror matchup of all else fails. I don't know why I find Terran more exciting than most races. I think they just have so many more options they can use. There was a little bit of a time recently that you'd see Terran kind of dominating a lot of things. Now Terran's when I was watching I was watching Dreamac and I believe there was only a handful of Terrans in the round of 16, like three of them or something. So it seems as though Protoss and Zerg are starting to figure out the Terran metagame a little bit more and shutting down the plays. You're seeing things like cannons going into mineral lines as part of a standard to deal with drops. Uh, same thing with Zergs getting spore crawlers out now that they don't need to get down an Evo chamber. And they can keep up pretty good on the macro. It's really about seeing what your comp your opponent's going to do. They either open up with this gas-centric play that's going to allow them to go for early drops, which looks like both players are doing, or they go for more of a macro-centric play and try to get out that earlier command center. Looks as though... Lucifron's going to see what's going to go on in the base, though he's going to lose that SUV, guaranteed. We have Marines out of Lucifron, and we have one Reaper here. What about QXC? It's letting the factory get down a little bit earlier here for, for Lucifron. Reactor first on this side. There's no reactor started. There it is. The reactor started just behind it. What was smart on this side is that Lucifron pulled back the SCV into the back of the base, so it's going to delay the amount of time it takes. Ooh, nice fast expansion. It's going to delay the amount of time it takes for that Reaper to cross the map. Something I encourage other people to do as well. Still no fracture to QXC. Slightly delayed command center, but not much. Still pretty even on that. Little bouncing around. There's only two marines out. It should be enough to shoot this away. It's gonna go up the other side. Whoop. It's worthwhile to get in a little bit of damage on the marines. The marines obviously don't heal, whereas the Reaper does. Looks like he's trying to find it out here, hoping that QXC is gonna leave it. I heard this really funny kind of metagame discussion from pro players is that most people when they gotta back something away like a few units or a stalker or something like a reaper is they don't really run it a long ways away like QRXC did they usually just run it a little bit away from their base so if you just go out there and attack for it a lot of the times you will find it two hellions out on the map on this side there's only a handful of marines good micro is gonna be really important otherwise that was already a damaged SCV Gotta be very careful not to line up now against. Good micro here out of Lucifron. Woo! Is he gonna get away with any of these? Whoa, nice split! That was so sick! Did anybody else think that split was sick? I thought it was sick. Who's texting me? Care what you have to say. Watch StarCraft. Looks like that natural is a little bit faster set up from QXC, though he is down in supply. This looks like well he's gonna go into the Hellbat drops. 
Lucifer always does hell about drops. I've I've seen very few games where he does, and it's usually just a debate whether or not he goes into Mac afterwards or he goes into Bio. But the hell about drops are super standard, and so are uh, so is getting out the Vikings. This Viking is a little bit late, but because of all the Hellion pressure, he probably felt a little bit more safe. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Five Hellions versus five. And the drop is also on the way. I don't know if he scouted that, but he sure will soon. There he goes. The great thing about having a Viking out on the map this early is that there's almost nothing that will kill the other Viking. Looks like he is going to try to bust down the front. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think that's going to work. Lots of Hellions, sorry not Hellions, a lot of uh, SCBs down here though. I don't know if this is the best trade or not. Did a fair bit of damage. Back on this side, though, it looks like the Hellions did manage to get in. Did they get some kills I wasn't paying attention to? They got eight. Let's see these individual guys. Two, one, three, zero, one. So it looks like these Hellions actually did a pretty good job cleaning up on this side. Uh oh. A lot of lost mining. Oh, did it! Did it put it in it? This is what the hell is you he doing? What are you doing? Oh man. Sorry if I was excited, but that was almost massively bad. I ended up losing another handful there. Nothing too much. Lots of Vikings out now. Definitely has air control. Something that's still quite valuable in a TVT setup when one player is going for drops, it's unbelievably important. So Lucifer's down quite a bit in supply. Moving into a mech setup. Looks like we. Oh, no, drop your shit. You don't have any more boost. Hellions do a pretty good job against Hellbats, I found out. Another command center. QXCs, on the other hand. It's not the command center. This command center is quite further ahead. More drops out of Lucifron because that's what Lucifron does. Not much for defense at the front for either player right now. Hellion run by should work super effectively. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen right here. Can't quite do that. Looks like he's just going to go and scout. I mean, there's no reason not to. Might have to cancel this medevac. Cancel the medevac. Nope. Looks like we had a bit of a double drop of some sort here. Yeah, we had a double drop. Oh, drop. Drop. Oh, no. QXC had a pretty sizable lead for the longest time here. Hellbats are still doing work down here. Oh boy. <laughs> That's really funny. Now that the Vikings are all landed. So many, so much lost mining time. Look at this base. Look at the income. Zero, zero. And that's why turns do Hellbat drops. I was listening to some sort ooh. I was listening to some sort of interview by a oh, I can't remember which Korean it was. It was talking about the TVT metagame. What he said was very interesting. He pretty much said 
Terran versus Terran is pretty much a toss-up right now in this current metagame. You either get good Hellbad drops, or you don't get good Hellbad drops. Looks like we had a couple of missile turrets go down. Just to deflect Vikings and a drops on this side. A bit of idle SCV action going on there, but no biggie. More production. Lucifron's got a pretty good sized army and a tank. These Vikings really aren't doing it much good right now, unfortunately. Might just have enough numbers. Oh no, not the SCVs. Not the SCVs. And a GG. Well, I must say, I actually thought QRC had a lead a little bit in that game. And then the Hellbat drops. I'm kind of surprised that there wasn't some form of defense, maybe one missile turret or something. It's be the initial Hellbat drops were okay, but it was his ability to pick up and go after the, the bunches of SCVs that did really well. And I've also seen people as good as MVP put down the bunkers in the back of their mineral lines just to make sure that they hold off against those. Game 1 to Lucifron. More action coming at you real soon.